welcome to another video. Today is going to be a really quick video just looking at the convergence and synergy in the James Bond franchise. Before we get started, we've got a couple of shout outs today. So big shout out to uh, Faria M, to Cassie and also to Liam. Thank you so much for subscribing. Let's get into the video. As a quick reminder, convergence is where one company uses multiple platforms to market um, or as part of their product. So uh, examples of convergence that's used within the Bond franchise, obviously we've got the original novels that the Bond um, sort of stories are based off, but then in terms of each of the films, we've got the trailers, the posters, websites, social media. Um, the two that are at the bottom could also be classed as synergy, which we're gonna have a look at in just a second. Things like video games, for example, and also merchandise. Looking at social media though, because we've had a look at the website, we've had a look at the posters, Social media is another really important point to consider and based off some of the things that I've done with my class, I thought it'd be really useful to go over the different kinds of social medias. So for instance, um, many people, when they're looking at social media, think that all of the social medias have the same demographic. That's not the case. And you have to really sort of go back and have a look at when the social media was created in order to work out who the primary demographic are. So for instance, Facebook was created in 2004. At the time, it was originally aimed at university students. And so the primary demographic are going to be somewhere between 35 and 50 years old. It's also interesting to note that Although it's only marginal, more women use Facebook because it's designed to connect with others and women stereotypically are interested more in that connection and that friendship than men are. Now this can be reflected in the James Bond Facebook page through the fact that there are multiple different 007 pages. So you've got the official one that you can see here, but there's also multiple pages that link to different communities and that allows um, sort of these communities to be built and to expand based on common interests. Twitter, on the other hand, now although it was created in 2006, has become more synonymous with debate and arguments. Unlike Facebook, you're limited to how much you can put in a post on Twitter. So it's more about those quick arguments and those quick speeches rather than something that's a little bit longer and lengthier. Now, because of its sort of use more as a platform for sort of free speech, it's mostly used by 18 to 35 year olds who are interested in social reform. So the Twitter page for Bond allows more links to be made to other social medias and different media forms. So you can see in the image above, we've got a link straight away to the trailer because it's much easier to link to other things on this page given that you've only got a 280 character limit. It also makes it easier to connect with cast and crew who might have their own Twitter page. And so this increases the celebrity endorsement and again increases the audience based on the draw that's happening between you know, sort of the user and whoever it is they're looking at. Now, Instagram is the more modern social media. This was created in 2010. It's got a much younger audience. The average user is around 20 years old, but a significant number of users are much, much younger than this. And this is reflected in the fact that the images that we can see show behind the scenes action where the, the actors are perhaps having a little bit of a laugh and a giggle, or they're showing softer stories such as the happy birthday they've put out to Dave Batista. Ultimately, what social media does is it increases the demographic and the size and the range of the demographic, but it's also worthwhile noting that each site does a different function as well. So I thought that'd be quite interesting for you guys just to be aware of. Moving on to synergy then. Synergy is where two or more companies work together for mutual benefit or gain. So in terms of celebrity endorsement, that might be classed as synergy because it benefits not only the company, but also the celebrity themselves as well. Examples of synergy that we've got then, we've got soundtracks, which we can see through the opening sort of song or the, the main track to the Spectre film. It's really become quite a talking point as to who's going to produce the next soundtrack. And so at the minute, there's sort of links, ideas that perhaps it might be Billie Eilish, it might be um, Ed Sheeran who produced the next um, sort of James Bond soundtrack to No Time to Die, so it becomes quite a social talking point. Merchandise, as we said, could be a form of synergy as well as convergence. As you can see here, 
we've got that partnership with Funko Pops, but we've also got just general branded um, sort of clothing or items. This is a, a screenshot from the website, from the store part of the website. And so that would act then as a form of marketing as well as um, a form of synergy at the same time. Uh, clothing and accessories, very often partnerships with big clothing brands. So for Spectre, Tom Ford produced all of the sort of suits and things for that particular film. So it again shows these two companies working together. Similarly with the cars, and the cars are a big part of Bond, obviously, because it's again a way of him showing his wealth and his status. But interestingly, there's also been partnerships for food and drink as well. And this particular advert for Kit Kat, we're going to have a look at in another video that I'm going to put up hopefully later on in the week, but we'll see. So as I said, that was a really quick run through of just convergence and synergy for you guys. There's only a few key terms here. Good luck to all of you who are undergoing your mock exams. Remember, even if you don't get the mark that you wanted, there is still time for you to adapt and to change that. And hopefully these videos will go away to helping you. If you do have any questions or there's anything I can help with, please pop a comment in the comments section below. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Every person who subscribes get a shout out at the beginning of the next video. So if you have have already subscribed but you've not had your shout out yet please pop a comment in the comment section below just letting me know and I will give you a shout out in the next video you can also get in touch with me through Twitter at media underscore revision and you can also have a look at the Instagram that I've got as well which is GCSE media revision there's not much on there at the moment but anytime I find something interesting I'll be posting it up there for you guys just as an extra little something to have a look through okay and I will see you soon for the next video